Hello everyone, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, we're gonna dive into why Smart Suite is a better choice than Airtable. Let's just be clear, it is. If you're questioning it, well, this video is going to lead you in the right direction. You might have already bumped into not only Smart Suite, but Airtable on your list of options from work management tools to choose from. They both bring a lot to the table, but they're far from clones of each other. Let's dive into really understand how Smart Suite stands out from Airtable. My goal is to basically give you insights that you need to make an educated choice, and in today's world, it's not enough for software to offer only basic functions. It's here that SmartSuite really excels with its versatility, security features, and innovation at the forefront. First of all, I wanna dig into the different features and functionalities that both platforms do have. And in this section, I'm gonna talk about the various aspects like user experience, permissions, data visualization, and much more. So first of all, starting with the SmartSuite interface and experience, um, this is something that I've knocked uh, click up for a while, as you can see here, it's a lot better. And what I mean by this, it's designed particularly well with millennials and Gen Y in mind, making it more user-friendly space that encourages engagement. On the flip side, Airtable serves its purpose, but may not wow the younger crowd with a lot less modern aesthetics. As you can see, a lot more spaced out here, beautifully created. I like the aesthetics in UI, very solid there. Now, when it comes to security, SmartSuite goes all in on this with advanced permissions that go as granular as individual fields. You're not going to just be locked into basic roles and it offers a range of permissions from full access to view only. You can see this if you go here to permissions from a solution level, but then individually to an app level as well, um, you can override solution permissions. And you'll see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels of permission. And you can even see for the assignee plus, that there is a specific assigned field for what maybe people can see if they are assigned uh, just for a specific field as well. Really, really granular permission, something that definitely SmartSuite has over a lot of its competitors. This tailored approach really does make SmartSuite a standout choice when it comes to data security. Airtable, however, leans more toward a one size fits all model, missing out on the intricacies that SmartSuite brings to the table. Now let's talk about workflow templates. If we go to add a new solution, we can start with a template and you'll see right here, they have over 200 native templates to choose from that span over 35 different business processes. Not to mention, it even offers a AI assistant to create workflows based on your natural language input. So right here, I click ask AI to generate. I want to make a content calendar for a YouTube channel. Press generate. Smart AI wizard will create a customized solution in about one to two minutes based on my needs. So it's uh, going through the process of researching and then creating some sample content and documenting a solution structure. Really cool. And you'll see right here, there's a solution guide for how to make it. So if I press got it, and you'll see there's a solution guide that goes along with this. So really cool stuff um, at the top. The solution guide is what was being pulled up here and did, uh, did in fact create some dummy data, publish dates, publish time, playlists, tags, really cool stuff. I'm, I'm very glad that it was able to spit this out because uh, they actually didn't have a template for like a YouTube specific one yet. So this was really cool. Airtable's offerings in contrast are more limited and do not have this level of AI integration. Now, when it comes to automation and API, both platforms are pretty comparable. However, SmartSuite pushes the envelope by allowing formulas to work across all apps within the workspace. It's a small yet crucial difference that can streamline your workflow significantly. Check out the formula field and see exactly what we're talking about. Next up, for field types and record presentation, SmartSuite offers a robust 44, that's right, 44 field types, um, coupled with advanced data validation capabilities. Airtable, however, only offers 28 and doesn't quite measure up in terms of data validation. When it comes to data visualization, this is another interesting point of comparison. Both platforms are pretty competent, but SmartSuite does take it to another level by providing more visualing appeals and insightful charts. I think one of my favorite things instead of SmartSuite is if I go to look at my accounts in like a sales pipeline, I can, I, I can have chart views that are created, which I think are really cool. You can have stacked bar charts, donut shape charts, so many different options uh, that give you visualization of how you're doing from a sales standpoint. As you can see right here, I got a little view and there's also the opportunity to put this in a dashboard, which is awesome. Now, when it comes to connected workflows, if you look at linked relationships, SmartSuite does let you link from any app to any other app within the workspace. Like obviously for here, 
there is this account section I have that does connect to contacts and opportunities, but here's the thing, even in separate solutions, I can connect this to a multitude of different things. I have set it up so that there's an automation so that a task manager would get the tasks here. And if I wanted to connect those via a linked record, I definitely could. So that's really cool. This eliminates any data sync issues you might face. And in comparison, Airtable only allows a single column record layout and doesn't have linking functionalities. Now, when it comes to collaborative docs, uh, SmartSuite allows full document creation and even has AI capabilities for editing. If we go inside here and take a look at one of these blog posts, this can be completely AI generated and interacted with with the Ask AI SmartSuite feature. And also there is collaborative documents between team members and Airtable on the other side keeps it pretty basic and only allows for rudimentary text functions. Now, when it comes to branding, SmartSuite wins again with the option to do a wide array of customizations, including logo uploads and color schemes. You can change any solutions color like this, and there are a myriad of other options that we do have to make your workspace a lot more branded. Global search is another game changer where SmartSuite really shines uh, with its robust functionality, something that Airtable doesn't even offer across tables or bases, but if I'm in any of the different solutions I have. You can see all I need to do is click right here and I can search across anything. So if I wanted to do onboarding tasks, change this from being in here to onboarding tasks to my task manager, we'll see. I'll be able to see those really quick. And if you're on your homepage or if you're filtering to all solutions, if, if I looked up onboarding tasks would have shown what I was looking for in the first place and showcase the app that it was in as well. When it comes to team collaboration and communication, I mean, Smart Suites is so good that you can open up something like this, make a comment. So at Dimitri, please get this video done by tomorrow. And then I can assign this to Dimitri and then it would become a task that goes into my My Task system. Airtable does not have this. Uh, it's got basic commenting features, but the fact that I'm able to assign tasks to myself through a comment or to somebody else, pretty insane. On the side of task management, as you can see pretty simply, I was able to assign comments that then gave tasks. I have a My Work section. I have tasks in subtasks as a field inside of SmartSuite. If you're looking for a tool that does a better job regarding task management, I don't think it's really comparable. Task management is much better inside of SmartSuite. For pricing and limits, SmartSuite is much more transparent across all the plans. Airtable, in the other sense, doesn't actually tell you what the enterprise plan is gonna cost. And last but not least for all these different breakdowns is that SmartSuite does come fully customizable with 15 localized languages, while Airtable does offer limited language support and isn't fully localized. Wrapping things up, I wanna talk about our top five advantages over Airtable. That would be, first of all, linked records across any app, uh, just being able to connect to any of your other apps and not just being stuck to you know the links that you can have in one base inside of Airtable. Number two, we have much more field types, 44 versus 28, huge upper hand here. Number three, smart docs, the lack of text functionality inside of Airtable is something definitely to be desired. Number four, much more granular permissions as we saw earlier, extremely, extremely positive stuff on that end. And number five, task management and my work. If you want to task manage an Airtable, laughably worse in comparison to SmartSuite. The final takeaway here is that, you know, while your final choice between SmartSuite and Airtable is going to depend on your specific requirements, SmartSuite offers an extensive array of features that are going to make it compelling for businesses to seek a comprehensive solution. With a modern UI, detailed permissions, and outstanding workflows and task management features, SmartSuite stands as just bit of a smarter choice in a lot of ways for today's enterprises. If you're convinced that SmartSuite is what you've been looking for, make sure to try it out today. We have a free trial and are excited to have you inside of the SmartSuite experience. Thanks for watching and we'll see you after watching this video on how to improve your skills using SmartSuite even more.